And so following Let There Be Peace, you know, an album that was filled with very soft, soothing, reflective songs, I, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to do something that would um, reveal a different side of me to my fans, a side that was a little more light and, and fun, and, and uh, that's really um, when I decided, you know, what better way to show that fun side than a Christmas album. Rosanna's Christmas album has been a real pleasure to work on because it's a real uh, mix of styles and flavors of, of music. Um, she's got some great stuff that she did with her, her band that she uses on a regular basis and some amazing stuff she did with um, studio musicians that she brought in, especially for certain tracks. Um, some of my favorite tracks on the album are um, the ones with her band, uh, Deste Fidelis and um, Little Drummer Boy. And they're very unique, and she's she's really taken a different approach to those. And I personally enjoy really uh, working on those and bringing them together um, in terms of the technical aspect uh, as well as the sound. Uh, but Rosanna brought a lot to the table in terms of um, her initial ideas, and when we worked together, we really um, found a dynamic between two of us and the band that uh, brought a lot of interesting elements to the song. I was really impressed by uh, not only Rosanna's ability, but her her uh, professionalism. She, she was very well prepared, she knew exactly what she wanted to sing, she was great at taking direction, uh, she could basically uh, do anything you asked of her in terms of uh, vocal performances. Uh, could ask her to sing softer, more loudly, more intense, you know, um, more intimate, and um, she could, in a very short period of time, just basically pull it off. And uh, that's very unusual to find in uh, a singer in general, uh, but to have someone who's got all of those attributes and is uh, a lovely person as well is just a real pleasure. particular, uh, Box, Jesu, Joy of Man's Desiring, that was a song that I really felt um, needed a collaboration. And so I called upon uh, my friends, uh, the Sultans of String, a great Canadian band, uh, winners of the Canadian Folk Music Award. Um, and I asked if they were interested in, in working with me on this song, and uh, thankfully they were. And we had a lot of fun um, collaborating and coming up with different ideas. And I think what we ended up with was um, was was wonderful. It was a really um, worldly, um, definitely unique and different approach to that song. You know, it's probably a song that's been covered millions of times by so many artists. But I think uh, people will really. See Hear how ours is, is very different and I, and I think people will like the way it sounds. So classical music is um, the style of music that I've, I've sung the longest and so I think the majority of, of my fans and people that know me um, are familiar with, with that style of singing and because of that um, a lot of them don't know about another side uh, to me, um, one that my family could go on and on about which is you know my love for um, the cabaret and and the jazz music and, and old Hollywood. Um, I'm actually the youngest of three girls and there's there's quite an age gap between me and my older sisters. It's about 8 and 12 years and uh, it's funny there's a lot of memories um, that my parents and my sisters share of, of me being a very young child, maybe three or four years old, just glued to the television set watching some of those old Hollywood classic musicals like um, Guys and Dolls, you know, Frank Sinatra and Guys and Dolls or, or um, 
uh, gentlemen prefer blondes with Marilyn Monroe and uh, I'd be dancing and singing along and you know honestly I think I've been enamored by that era and, um, and the innocence and the glamour um, of that time um, ever since then and I think it's because of that I, that I enjoy so much singing jazz music and so you know, to me, a Christmas album has to have those, um, you know, crooner type songs, those classic crooner Christmas songs like I'll Be Home for Christmas and um, Have Yourself a Merry Christmas, all the ones that have been covered by, by the, the greats like Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Perry Como, Bing Crosby. Um, and so I, I brought, um, along to the project, um, amazing jazz arranger, Brian Barlow. This has been an absolute pleasure working on this project with Rosanna. Um, I've been in this business a long time and I've worked with many, many singers. And uh, it's just so great to work with someone who not only is a fantastic singer, but who knows what she wants. And um, you know, when, when I was first approached to write the arrangements, uh, you, you, you never know what, what people have in mind and, and what they expect of you and uh, it's, it was just such, such a great experience to having Rosanna know what she wanted and, but yet allowing me the, the freedom to also express myself. And, uh, so he really helped me capture that the essence of that era and the way those oh, songs sounded that. and so it was really wonderful to have him on board to uh, contribute his talents and the musicians that he brought um, on board to um, to record those songs were phenomenal you know we even had uh, the great honor of, um, of having Guido Basso um, a guest on a few of the songs so it was uh, it was really great fun to, to cover those those jazz Christmas songs so I had a lot of fun doing that Christmas albums should also have a lot of guests and duets. You know, I think about uh, growing up watching all of those variety shows and seeing, you know, the artists come together and, uh, and sing, sing together to, to share in the joy of, of the holiday season. And, and so that's really uh, something else I wanted to capture with this album. And so I was very fortunate to have many great uh, guest artists work with me on the gift of Christmas. And one of them uh, has to be Probably my favorite singer, one of the most beautiful voices I have ever heard, and that's uh, Mark Masri. And uh, Mark and I are, are good friends, and we've worked together um, several times before on his projects, my projects, have co-written a uh, song together. And uh, I asked him if he would work with me one more time on this, uh, on this Christmas album. And so we have two songs together, one of which is uh, an original that was written by Stefan Mokiel called A Christmas Time With You. In fact, I believe this album, or this song rather, was uh, covered by Mark on, on his Christmas album. And I always told him that I thought it should be a duet. <laughs> and so he finally, uh, he finally agreed and we recorded it together as a duet. Another guest artist on the album was Dominic Mancuso. And uh, if you don't know Dominic, you should. Um, Dominic is actually a Juno Award winner. He won for um, Best uh, World Album. And he's an amazing musician, um, and his voice uh, is is just full of so much texture. I love uh, the sound of Dominic's voice. And so I asked if he would also um, work with me on this album. And uh, together we did a really fun uh, interpretation of that classic duet uh, originally recorded by Steve Lawrence and Edie Gourmet called That Holiday Feeling. Any little thing you desire. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry You better not pout I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town so like I mentioned before, to me a Christmas album also has to have those crooner, crooner Christmas songs. And so for that reason, you know, I thought to myself, what better voice for me to have on this album than one of the best 
crooners that we have out there today, which is uh, Mr. Matt Dusk. And so I was really um, happy to uh, to have Matt uh, on board with the, with the project. Um, together, we were trying to decide what song we should do, and uh, we wanted to do something something fun and something upbeat. And so we picked a very popular, you know, favorite Christmas song, which is uh, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Christmas album without a gospel choir. Um, I had to have a gospel choir on this album. I just love the way choirs sound and A Holy Night to me was the perfect song to have a choir guest on. And so um, I asked my good friend Sharon Riley if um, the Faith Chorale would be able to join me on that track and uh, thankfully they were available and they really just took that song to a whole other level and I think people are going to be moved by that song and really feel, um, feel the presence of, of what Christmas is all about when they hear that. Titling an album is always a difficult thing to do. But uh, luckily, this time around, it was, it was quite simple for me. Uh, the Gift of Christmas just felt like the perfect title. Um, for me, the reason I named uh, the album The Gift of Christmas is because it's actually the title of one of the tracks on the album, uh, my favorite original song. A song that is about rejoicing in the birth of Christ. And, you know, it's a song that makes a bold statement that says, although we do receive many wonderful things, uh, many uh, material things at Christmas time, that uh, really it's, it's the birth of Jesus and it's his life and his sacrifice that is the true Christmas gift. So I'm really excited for this album to come out and I just hope that the fans love it as much as I love it. All these gifts of Christmas Show us the purpose of our lives. May they remind us of the love that we find in Jesus. He's the best gift there is at Christmas.